the summer of 2006, uh, the chairman of our deacon board went to Ghana with an organization called His Nets. His name is Brian Tolliver. Brian's a farmer, large, large scale farming operation. He met a Ghanaian named Mustafa who started sharing with Brian his vision as to how to reach that region of Ghana. And he says, is there any way you could help me get a tractor? And Brian says, well, you know, I, I know tractors. I can help you get a tractor. And after Brian was delivering the mosquito nets, shared the story of the tractor, the person in our congregation paid for the tractor, and then we saw the need also of getting computers, getting school books, getting clothes, all that, sending more nets, sending more mosquito nets. It just kind of, the momentum just started to build. And a tractor going out from village to village to village allows the area farmers to harvest more and allows them to develop a little bit more self-sufficiency and helps them to understand that the gospel of Christ is more than just a spiritual component, it's also reaching out to people in a practical, useful way. Emmanuel Mustafa is one of the most remarkable people I've ever met, bar none. He is a fascinating businessman, he's got a great mind. He has a plan to reach that region of Ghana uh, in one of the most holistic and effective ways I've ever seen. He was sent by the Ghanaian Baptist Convention to start five churches in, in between 2005 and 2010. In January of this year, they dedicated the 400th church that they started in five years. Thousands of people have come to faith in Christ. Went there and put the roof on the church. And that was my main focus, was that. And we got it done. <laughs> Didn't think we would do it in two days, but we did. Now they're not real concerned with level or straight or measurements, measurements <laughs> at all. We never measured uh, much of anything. When we left, it was still very rough. The floor basically used to be a field, so it still had furrows going through the middle of the floor inside the church. I have no doubt that they were in there Sunday after we finished praising and having their service right there. While we were there, it's not like we had anything to do with it, but we, uh, 15 churches were started in the one week while we were there. These are growing, thriving churches. He's got churches that, have, uh, that are expanded to over 200 people that are meeting under a tree. Well, when we would arrive in a village, there would usually be two or three people waiting for us, expecting us. They uh, would start singing and clapping their hands. And as more and more people came, the women would begin to dance. People would stick their heads out, and they would begin coming out, and those who would come out would bring their benches and their little stools. It was nothing to have 100, 150, sometimes more than that. The soccer ball thing started uh, with our with my first trip. As we went to villages, I let the adults go off and do their thing with the mosquito nets and, and church planning, and I would generally uh, just gather the children up, sometimes a handful, sometimes 50 or 60, explain to them that it was a gift from my church to their church, toss the soccer ball up in the air, and uh, flip-flops are flying and dust are flying, and uh, it gave me such joy just to watch the kids have fun because when you stand back and you look at the village and you realize there is nothing, they have nothing. For the week that they're out there distributing the nets or building churches or baptizing, the pastor leader from Beale Memorial is going to be working with the pastor leaders from the various villages. Mustafa asked the village to select the two most reliable people who've made a profession to come and be the pastor leader. And, uh, and he sends those and they will stay in this compound and um, literally sleep on the ground for a week and have the training. And you know, and I think about the scripture, to whom much is given, much shall be required. And I think our wealth is just beyond measure. We, we have so much and we have it in our power to share it as part of the gospel. Our church in the last two trips has distributed 2,500 mosquito nets. And that's handing out personally, Into the individual to the, uh, the woman with a child, uh, those mosquito nets. 
But then I think the tractor was the vehicle that um, enabled our whole church to buy into all of this. And it's neat to see the people in the church, the way they come together um, behind all the opportunities. I didn't think I'd ever see today that I would go on the other side of the big pond myself, but, uh, <laughs> but it was a life-changing experience. And I'll definitely go back again. <laughs>